gratitude greetings sidita mohanty is 15 year old entrepreneur she is a magical digital entrepreneur a visual graphic designer she is a star winner of so many competitions of olympia she is very intelligent and she is a public speaker she can motivate she is determined and she wants to make it happen welcome sidita good evening sir it's a really pleasure to be here at the show i'm really honored to be a part of it and i am really excited to learn a lot from you okay that has to <laughs> please tell us your uh, secret of success at the age of 15 you so, could have enjoyed your life sit back and relax watch some movie reels you know take some selfies go to the mall with friends and you have been studying so hard winning competitions and then innovating at this age you are making money entrepreneur serving getting skills why all this at this age so basically sir the secret of my success i don't tell it a secret but like it's uh, the life lesson that each one of us can really learn from our life because uh, there is nothing like uh, what uh, i didn't do which i cannot do right now like as you told scrolling reels watching instagram moving with uh, uh, going out with friends but like i have uh, seen the struggle that my parents have faced uh even when i uh, was uh, at a really young age i've seen the struggle uh, my parents did to keep me and like uh, our family happy the sacrifice they did for me and like uh, it's just that i did wanted to do something for my parents that should make them proud and uh, even that i was never like a, a normal kid who goes to school then goes to college graduates get a job and stuff like that i always wanted to do something extraordinary from a very young age uh, as my parents keep on telling me that uh, when i was uh, at the age of 2 they gifted me a laptop uh, on my second birthday and uh, i out of nowhere i uh, had this curiosity of learning more about computer and uh, i used to watch luxurious houses interior design of those houses that fascinated me so madly and uh, even that i used to watch uh, english cartoons listen to uh, rhymes in my laptop and i uh, got used to it so much that i became a tech savvy at uh, since uh, my childhood so that is a part of my journey and even that uh i always uh, wanted to do something more than what i really have right now my parents are uh, from a background of professors college professors and um, they always had a dream for me to become a world class doctor because we have faced the uh, medical issues in our family several times when uh, we don't get good doctors to serve us we have to wait for doctors for hours and days to uh, get a treatment so seeing all that struggle like uh, it's very common in uh, children that uh, they just want to capture the whole world they just want to become everything they see around them so like even uh, at a young age like uh, nine or 10 years i used to watch cid then like i got a motivation <laughs> yeah i am i really like uh, crime uh, like crime based documentaries and books like that i don't read that much books of, like crime but uh, yeah i do read more of self development books 
so then i got a motivation to be a cid officer to just uh, investigate all that interesting and thrilling experiences of life then uh, soon like i was uh, quite familiar with cricket because my dad uh, my father has been a university level cricket player and he always motivated to uh, me to be a cricketer since my childhood i always play cricket i just love cricket so i always had this dream of becoming a cricketer and play for india but uh, that's how life is like since your childhood you get to know a lot of things but as soon as you grow up you actually see things what uh, is happening around you and then i got the real motivation of why i should be a doctor it's not that i will leave cricket but i will be doing playing cricket side by side but now my main aim is to emerge as a world class neurosurgeon to serve for the world because uh, there is has been an incident that uh, has driven this significant motivation for me to become a neurosurgeon so during the covid 19 pandemic during the second phase of it me and my family uh, the family of four i my mother my father and my younger sister we four by, uh, were affected by corona virus and like that uh, was a horrible situation which uh, i have survived with my whole family safely so there i learned one thing that everything that uh affects us physically like when we get sick we get fever everything is driven by the mental health that we call the mental well being so soon i uh got the inspiration to learn more about mental health because at that time if you are mentally strong then you can just survive it and if you are not mentally strong then people just lose their lives and hope to live so there i got the motivation to learn more about mental health and become a neurosurgeon in those uh, times of pain and hardship i uh, sometimes used to break up because uh, it was a three uh, room quarter in a semi urban uh, area in odisha from where i came from i lived there for 13 years and like uh, in those three rooms i have seen the struggle that was faced like for days uh, i wasn't able to see my father and mother like my father used to stay in one room my mother used to stay in one room i used to stay in one room with my four year old sister i used to take care of her so that is the hardship that i have seen which has driven my motivation drastically to move towards neuro uh, to, uh, to neuroscience in the field of medicine uh, i couldn't see my parents for days because i am too used to my father and father i am a really lovable child since my childhood they love me so much that we are too much attached to each other so even uh, without seeing each other for a day it feels like years so that uh, the struggle and the sacrifice i've seen by my parents the thing they do for me they just try their best to give me the best opportunities of life because uh, it is the dream of every indian parent i guess that uh, they never want their children to feel the lack of something they uh, were not given the opportunity for so i just have the dream of becoming a neurosurgeon because i want to see that pride in the eyes of my parent that proud moment uh, because i know that i can uh, never fulfill uh, the thing and i can never pay off for the sacrifice they have done for me but i can surely do something that may uh, make them the most happiest people in the world 
गारंटी है वो तो आई एम श्योर दे आर प्राउड ऑफ यू इवन टूडे यू आर मेकिंग योर टीचर्स प्राउड बाय विनिंग बाय यू नो कॉम्पीटिंग इन एग्जाम्स बाय डूइंग व्हाट यू डू सो हाउ डिड डिजिटल ऑन्टरप्रिनरशिप स्टार्ट हाउ डिड ग्राफिक विजुअलाइजेशन विजुअल डिजाइनर स्टार्ट so basically as i told i'm a uh, quite tech savvy person and like i just love uh, to search things online like if i get to know about something new i just search everything about it like now i'm uh, switching from cbse to ib board and my session starts from august so i've just like searched everything about ib so that's how the passion for graphic design started as i told i used to watch the interior designs of luxurious houses of millionaires and billionaires and like it was uh, such a beautiful sight that it drove me towards the digital world so drastically and uh, even uh, since uh, since my teenage years and like uh, since i grew up i have uh, seen the world how difficult it is to survive in this world particularly and uh, how you should be uh, or act to survive well sustainably in this world so now uh, a short term goal which i can say before like um, i get into something uh, really well established my main aim right now is to be financially and emotionally independent because i have seen the struggle financially and uh, and uh, emotionally that has been faced by my parents because during the covid 19 we were um, ba- uh, we were uh, not having that much money and stuff like that so so what uh, is a mental tip you I... give to us you know emotionally strong kaise banenge hum what is uh, one tip you want to give to all the teenagers who are going to watch this and the lot of teachers who are going to watch this so what is the one tip you want to give to all of us the uh, one tip that i would surely give is that uh everyone should give themselves a chance to explore themselves because when it comes to be emotionally and mentally strong uh no one knows like if uh, i am having a problem that um uh, i am having anger issues or i get short tempered or i get uh, affected in small issues so uh, only i can be the person who can discover what is the remedy for this what i can do to overcome this because uh, no one can read my mind like the mentalism and things they do like mind reading so they just make the, uh, a person may uh, tell what they want to to do but no one can really read anyone's mind and the person who is facing a problem can only know what he or she really feels within them so everyone awesome. should give them yeah everyone should give themselves a chance to explore things that's how i overcame all of these issues awesome everyone so, uh, yeah. i got your point awareness is the key and give yeah. your the chance don't suffocate don't suppress yeah asking for advice always and find your own yeah. key to happiness key to yeah. emotional freedom now coming to my favorite yeah. question there are like uh, yeah there are many people who just feel lost due to external factors like people telling them something or they just get affected by the society or people what prevents me from being that is that i just be the fullest of myself like this is the thing i have learned from the podcast of oprah winfrey is that ah, you should was about to you say you should be so like oprah winfrey ha <laughs> bolo bolo you should you should be so full of yourself that you need no one to fill your life beautiful that is the that is the greatest purpose that i am having right now Awesome. For example, like if 
uh, I I have this habit of like getting affected at small things. Like uh, if my mom or dad tells me anything, uh, that is good for me. But like I sometimes take uh, take it personally. What I do is that if I don't feel good, just leave everything, wash my face ten times, splash water into my face ten times, get my laptop, open a podcast of Oprah Winfrey, and start watching it for thirty minutes. That powerful 30 minutes of forecast just save hours from me to waste. Awesome, Siddhita. Siddhita, my favorite question is uh, your three happiest moments. Okay, so my three happiest moments. First one is a very recent one uh, that uh, I secured 92% in my BSc grade 10 board exams. And actually that time I was in my hometown for vacation. Uh, so like uh, I, my relatives were there at home and like it was all of a sudden like uh, it was on 13th uh, 13th may uh, to uh, 2 pm i remember my mom was busy in kitchen with some extra work my dad uh, was busy with the relatives and like the sudden news that i got that my cbsc results are out and like that moment, it is just uh, not expressive, uh, expressible in words. Like, I've uh, just enjoyed that moment so much that my father was just so overjoyed within just seconds of me getting the results posted it over social media. Cry, tears came down from the eyes of my mother. She just hugged me so tightly. And that is a memorable moment, which I can never forget because she has uh, sacrificed a lot for me, especially my mother, even my father. And like those were the tears of happiness that I've seen, uh, that I saw in the eyes of my mother for the first time. And it was just an overjoying moment. Second uh, was when I was uh, felicitated in my own school in grade 8. I was felicitated with the Women Power NTI Award. And it was such a great event. Like my principal was so happy. My teachers were really happy. My parents were just overjoyed because like the whole school was sitting uh, there. And uh, giving such a prestigious award to me, my parents were just like enjoying the moment in their way. And just uh, the inexpressible moment, which, uh, and it was a first media coverage for me in my life for the first time. So, and you that, uh, yeah. <laughs> That is the second one. Third, I feel um, it was uh, when I came to Bangalore for the first time because uh, Big city. I, uh, yeah, actually, I am from Odisha. I lived uh, in a semi-urban place for 13 years of my life and like uh, just for my education and to give me and my sister the best opportunities of the world. My parents took the risk to come to Bangalore oh. without any support. We just came with four bags and like landing in the Bangalore International Airport, coming to a lodge, then shifting to a completely new house, new locality, new place in Bangalore. Uh, which it was completely unknown to us. So that was the beginning of a new life, which I can tell one of the most memorable moments. And I just keep celebrating even the small achievements that uh, I get. Like if uh, I, like just before the interview, I ate as uh, gems. I can say, <laughs> so, like uh, we uh, like I feel 
like as i told we should be always full of ourselves so self love and self confidence is the key we should like love ourselves so much that we don't need anyone to love us and parents are uh, just the second form of god that we get okay i will stop you so, here why did you push me again and again sir do my interview do my interview you know last time i was somewhere outside i could not yeah. come on that day i told i'm yeah. sorry my sister's function was there on monday i think it was last monday my sister became secretary in rotary and today we are here okay. today also i said you know what i have to take my mom outside do it fast so that spirit in you that yes mujhe karna hai ya mujhe interview pe aana hai aap mera interview lo okay did... so uh, so that is a quality i have learned uh, throughout the years of my life do you know keep pushing yourself because like if you don't do it for yourself no uh, no one else is going to do it for and one silly reason for this is because like as i told i'm shifting to a uh, to the ib course and the school is too far from my house i am even shifting to a new house and the silly reason is that i just keep on calculating my interviews like first two interviews it was in odisha then the next two interviews was in my first house in bangalore then one interview was in this house where i'm sitting and so i just wanted to do even this interview here because i will be shifting by this week so i don't want to do just one interview here because this place is real, this house is really memorable for me because i have just spent my complete 10th grade here i just want to keep this last memory <laughs> i wish you all the best and all lovely memories more great memories in your new school new house and you break so many records to inspire thank you so much to sir thank you. and yes there'll be so many more moments where your parents are proud where your friends are proud you are proud and you have taught me a lot sindita on self love be full of yourself why go with the begging bowl to others for love so yeah. many because uh, right. i just have this one point that people just have this very wrong perception of life that people think that we get life just for once and we have to live this life to the fullest it is correct but partially we don't get life once we get a lifetime once so basically life is the ability for us to survive get between step so we just get one lifetime once but we get a new life every day because every day we are able to see that rising sun every day we are able to see that beautiful view so we get life every day we just get death once and one lifetime once and the life is a actually journey between b to d b is the birth d is the death the life is actually all about c which stands for choice we always have a choice to try again or give up we always have the choice to go on or hold up thank you for making a choice to be with me my interviews are usually 10 to 15 minutes and you are so full of wisdom you are so well read and you have so well listened to all the podcasts of opera she is my favorite too so 30 minutes went by just like that and you are awesome you are too good yeah. i wish you all the best siddita take care yeah. goodbye take i care. just want to give one last note to the audience and the people who are listening i uh, i suggest them to like this has been a miracle for me and uh, this works like magic in the life of every person i guess to anyone who you listen a successful person billionaire elon musk oprah winfrey anyone practice prayer and gratitude daily i i personally tell that it may be any circumstance i never miss doing a prayer of just 5 minutes every day i do pray to god for 
five minutes every day. It may be Jesus, it may be Krishna, it may be Allah. Just pray that power for five minutes every day and be grateful for what you have. People tell that I don't have this, I don't have that. Be grateful for what you have because someone else may not have the same thing. For example, this is a watch which was gifted by my parents during my board exams because I didn't had a analog watch and they didn't allow this. I cried so much for that because they kept my watch and they bought this for me. Every time I wear this watch to go anywhere or anytime, I just feel so grateful that this is the watch of my memories with my board exams and all the sacrifices and the presents given to me by my parents just refresh up. Yes. So beautiful. I love the parting shot of prayer and gratitude. Yes. I'm sure each of us watching this will live by this. Thank you so much once again. Thank Siddhartha. you so much, sir. All the best. Thank you, sir.